Hello everyone, this is Jim Cooper from MF Fire, and today we're going to take a look at how to install the combustor, the combustor retaining piece, and the flame shield, these three pieces into your Nova and Nova 2 stoves. First, I'd like to go ahead and go through each piece. This is the catalytic combustor. This is the piece that converts the smoke and soot into reburnable fuel. This is the clip, in this case, the retaining piece that is used to hold this particular catalytic piece in place. And then this is the flame shield, and this goes on last. Now I'll go through each of these steps with you, but the most important one is this guy right here. This is the retaining clip and it goes in a couple of holes that are not seen easily from above. So I'm going to go ahead and go through, if you will please, a couple of things that we'll see once we get inside the stove. Again, this is the retaining clip. Inside the stove, it goes in these two holes. These holes are up above and just in front of the combustor once it's in place. These simply fall into place. They are gravity, held by gravity, and the little retaining clip goes ahead and falls right into those holes. And when it gets to the final resting place inside the stove in front of the catalytic combustor, this is what it looks like. So it's easy to put in. I'll guide you through it and let's get started. Okay, our next step is the catalytic combustor. And to install this, you push this up, you hold it as such. You push it up into the hole that's in the ceiling of the stove. Push all the way up and it simply slides right onto a shelf right up here. And then you can simply push it and it simply slides forward. Very straightforward, pretty easy to do. The next piece is the clip. Hopefully I can get that, there it is. This is the clip that goes with the combustor to keep it from sliding forward and either tilting or falling out. If you reach up top here and feel along here, you'll feel a little hole. And that hole is where this clip, retaining clip slides in. And when, it's, when you find it's in place, you can tug on it and it stays in place. Next, you simply find the other end with the hole and you drop it in. And now the retaining clip, I'm gonna try to see if I can't move the camera in and up so that you can see the retaining clip. There it is. This clip right here, it just fits in these holes, the hole right there. You can't see this hole from down below, but when you get your fingers up here, you can definitely feel it. There it is right there. Once this is in place, this keeps the catalytic combustor from pushing forward. The final step is to put the flame guard in. Now, let me see if I can get my camera skills. Apparently my cameraman is still at lunch, so I'm going to have to do this myself. So the final piece after the combustor and the retaining clip is in is to put in the flame guard, this long piece of metal. And to do that, you simply put the end in and up. It rotates slightly. You can then slide it in. The rest of the plate goes up inside. It sits in place. And then once you've got it in place, you simply move it over until it's uniformly from side to side. I have a little bit more to go. And now we have the clip completely in place, holding the combustor in, the flame guard is in, and gravity keeps the flame guard in place. There are no screws or bolts that you need to use with that. And that's how you put in the combustor. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure and get in touch with your representative from MF Fire. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.